Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing and setup of a um, Mr. Hua um, UFO grow light. It's LED. And the specs here. It's a pretty mixed bag of uh, lights, but it's got uh, light spectrum is 8 bands. It's got 17 deep red, 630 nanometer, 11 royal. Royal red, 660 nanometer, two orange, 610 nanometer, seven industrial blue, 460 nanometer, one green, 520 nanometer, uh, one infrared, 730 nanometer, and one UV, 400 nanometer. And it's got a central um, Cree cob light. It's a warm spectrum, 3000K, and it's um, a 10 watt light, but it's, it's driven 8.5 watts. So you've got a really good mix with the UV and IR and the red and blues and the um, and that Cree cob light kind of fills in a lot. Um, so anyway, um, let's go ahead and cut this open and we'll take a look at it. That's very well packaged. UFO 150 watt LED grow light. So I think it's got three watt LEDs and it's advertised as 150 watt. I think the actual operating is about 65 watts for when I read. But I'm going to plug it up to my kilowatt and see what I get. It's pretty heavy for one of these. Card. I believe the manufacturer, the company selling this said that this did not have an instruction manual. Um, that's okay. It should be self-explanatory. Here's the power cord. Hanging kit. Looks pretty durable. Standard little kit there. There we go. Looks good. There's that Cree cob light there. It looks like the individual LEDs have a little lens on them too. Should help focus the light. Got a really nice sturdy um, mounts for the hanging fixture to attach to. On and off switch. Fan where it plugs up. Oh yeah, input power 150 watt. That's that's misleading. I mean, they, all of them do that, but that's you know they um, basically they take the note like the max operating of the. Um, each LED multiply with the number of LEDs, but they're not usually not driven to that point. It's usually, usually under driven to less than half that. So that's something um, you can't really always go by that. But anyway, that's what they, but every company I've seen does that. But um, 65 watts still good, especially for um, you know, a single plant. Something that's going to be focused over. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks really nice. Got a little, little glass cover on the front, a little metal housing. Um, it weighs about two pounds, give or take. Um, let's go ahead and um, plug it up and um, do some more tests on it, and we'll show you how it looks. 
Okay, so um, I've got the plant mounted. Sorry, I got the uh, light mounted above these plants, and this is the um, same setup where I've got my my uh, Kingbow 50 watt light, and I've got a video on that. So this is actually going back up here, but I've just got this hooked up here because it's a convenient place to to test it out right now. But you can see the plants actually doing pretty well under that king bay light. So anyway, um, first we're gonna we're gonna um, test the um, the power draw, and also uh, got a hydro farm power meter. So I'll do some quick tests on it <clears throat> at different heights too. Once we get it turned on, most of you use these already know, but it's good to have some UV glasses when you're working around LED grow lights. I'm gonna put these on or turn it on. It protects your eyes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, switch this on. It's very bright. That's how the plants look under it. The manufacturer says it draws about 65 watts, and that's that's about what this is pulling. It's uh, right at about 64.7, and that's bump going up and down about a tenth um, so that's right at about 65 watts so it's 64.8 64.7 and the amps on that is um, 0.59 so um, let's check some power readings here so the canopy is it's about 18 inches to there. It's hard to see the lighting, but um, so at 18 inches, it's floating around 100 uh, ppfd, give or take. So I've got this set up at the beginning starting at one and then going down so I'm just going to take some measurements so at about 10 inches it's time down on me it's around 300 to 350 so about six inches we're around peaking at around eight nine hundred Right up on the light, it's around um, you know, 2,000, just a couple inches underneath. It's hard to get a steady when you're hand holding it like that, but you can kind of get ballparks measuring it like this. It looks pretty strong for that um, for that size light. Yeah, so that's the uh, Mr. Hua 150 watt actual 65 watt lamp. Um, it's got the mix, oh, I read off the specs earlier, but it's got the Cree cob light, the 10 watt cob light in the center, and the um, mix of red and blues, and there's a green and a IR and UV light too. So what I'm probably gonna do is um, mount this in this grow tent that's not being used right now, and I'll move my Kingbow light back over these plants because they seem to be liking it okay. So I'll either put the UFO in the grow tent or um, I was thinking about making a small space bucket for it. But I'll probably just for time's sake put it in the grow tent and start some more herbs and um, or greens or something in there. Maybe a, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I'll get something under it that I can use it for and may change it up later. But um, I'll paste a... Um, Follow a video later and share how it's doing and how I'm liking it. But uh, for now, it looks like it's putting out quite a bit. It looks good. Um, it's a really nice, bright grow light. Nice mixed spectrum. Anyway, um, so it was a Mr. Hua 150. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.